Hi, I'm Emily Kikta, a dancer with New York City Ballet. And I'm Peter Walker, a soloist with New York City Ballet. We set this next piece to a speech by Patti Smith. And although it was given in 2012, it felt even more relevant for these dancers today. We then worked with the dancers to create choreography while they were in their homes around the world and tasked them with filming themselves. And once they were safely in their bubble, we were able to complete the piece by filming group sections. Please enjoy. A writer or any artist can't expect to be embraced by the people. You know, I've done records where it seemed like no one listened to them. You write poetry books that maybe, you know, 50 people read. And you just keep doing your work because you have to, because it's your calling. But it's beautiful to be embraced by the people. One does, does their work for the people. And the more people you can touch, the more wonderful it is. When I was really young, and I was really struggling, we never had any money. And the advice that William gave me was, build a good name. Keep your name clean. Don't make compromises. Don't worry about making a bunch of money or being successful. Be concerned with doing good work and make the right choices and protect your work. And if you build a good name, eventually, you know, that name will be its own currency. To be an artist, actually to be a human being in these times, it's all difficult. You have to go through life, hopefully, you know, trying to stay healthy, you know, being as happy as you can, and, and, and pursuing, you know, doing what you want. If what you want is to have children, if what you want is to be a baker, if what you want is to live out in the woods or try to save the environment, or maybe what you want is to write scripts for detective shows. It doesn't really matter. You know, what matters is to be, is to know what you want and pursue it and understand that it's going to be hard because life is really difficult. You're going to lose people you love. You're going to suffer heartbreak. Sometimes you'll be sick. Sometimes you'll have a really bad toothache. Sometimes you'll be hungry. But on the other end, you'll have the most beautiful experiences, sometimes just the sky, sometimes, you know, uh, you know, a piece of work that you do that feels so wonderful, or you find somebody to love, or your children, or there's beautiful things in life. So when you're suffering, just, you know, it's part of the package. ride with it you know it's like a roller coaster ride it's it's never going to be perfect it's going to have perfect moments and then rough spots but it's all worth it believe me i think it is you know I, I'm, I'm sure that each generation you know could say that their time was the best and the worst of times but I think that right now we are at something different that I've never seen. It's a pioneering time because there's no other time in history like right now. And that's what makes it unique. It's not unique because we have, you know, like Renaissance style artists. It's unique because the people, it is a time of the people because technology has really um, democratized self-expression. Instead of a handful of people making uh, their own records or writing their own songs, everybody can write them. Everyone can uh, 
post a poem on, on the internet and have people read it. Everyone has access, an access that they've never had before. We're all still figuring it out and what power we actually have, but the people still do have the power more than ever. And I think right now we're going through this painful sort of like adolescence again. What do we do with this technology? What do we do with our world? Who are we? But it also makes it exciting. You know, all the young people right now, the new generations, they're pioneers in a new time. So just, I say, stay strong. Try to stay, have fun, but stay clean, stay healthy. Because, you know, you have a lot of challenges ahead. And be happy.